Yeah, I was just watching the Deontay Wilder public workout, you know, for his fight with Joseph Parker this weekend. You know, he was moving around and jabbing and all that, you know what I mean, using a lot of lateral movement, you know, and a lot of footwork. You know, the skinny legs of his, he was just like moving around on it, Wilder. It was a long workout, you know what I mean? Kind of dragged on for a while, you know, and then afterwards he got interviewed and he's been a bit deceitful, you know, in the interview. No, you're, you're in, may I say, the twilight years, if you like, in your career. You've been around, you've been in the big fights, but you're looking fresh, you're looking yeah. good, you're looking healthy. Yeah, man, that's the secret. That's the secret of life, It's being happy and being at peace. Yeah. You know, once you're happy and at peace, anything else comes your way. It's like rolling with the punches then. Happiness and peace. It's not money, it's not the fame, it's not the materialistic things. Because you can be a, you can be a billionaire, a zillionaire, and be miserable, yep. you know? And then you'll find ways to, how to spend your money to bring happiness. But one thing about happiness and peace, you can't buy that. Yep. You understand me? Yep. You can't buy it. Yeah, that's bullshit, isn't it? That's bullshit, man, because like, we know, yeah, that you know, Deontay Wilder, he said that he got into boxing, you know, because he's got a daughter who's got a fucked up spine. She's got spina bifida, yeah, she's disabled. And like, you know, the doctors, they said that she won't be able to walk, you know, because her spine's fucked up. Because she's got that spina bifida. But now she's like walking in it, but she's got like a limp. So Deontay, he like got into boxing, you know, for financial reasons, you know, so he could like pay for his daughter's medical treatment. So, you know, I'm saying that money doesn't make him happy and, you know, this and that. It's all about peace and happiness. It's not about money, but money made him happy and peaceful, you know, knowing full well that his daughter would get the, the medical treatment that she required, you know, with her fucked up spine. And now she's walking, you know what I mean? Because obviously Deontay Wilder, he's made a load of cash, you know, in boxing. So he was able to pay for like top surgeries. She had like four surgeries, you know, when she was young to sort out her fucked up spine, you know, and that costs money, doesn't it? So Deontay Wilder saying it's not about money, it's about happiness and peace. You know, he would have got peace and happiness, you know, from seeing his daughter get really expensive surgery and be able to sort out her fucked up spine. So he's not being honest, is he, Deontay Wilder? You know what I mean? He's being a bit insincere, isn't he? A bit deceitful, you know, saying that is bullshit. He said he didn't fight Joshua, you know, because he wasn't offered enough money. He wasn't offered a big enough split, so he didn't take the fight. Well, if it's not about money, what's what's the problem? Why don't you just fucking fight him and take a, a smaller cut? You know, he's just talking shit wilder. He loves having money. He knows money makes him happy. And like, you know, when Deontay Wilder was like broke, yeah, he was with this fat, ugly black woman. You know what I mean? He was with her and that's who he had the kid with, you know, he's got the fucked up spine. But then as soon as he started to like get bigger and bigger paydays, you know, he got with that nice little fancy woman there. He fucking cheated on the big black mama, yeah. And he fucking got with that woman there and divorced his ex-wife, you know, the fat woman. And he got with this nice woman here, you know, this Telly Swift, that's her name, innit? So Deontay Wilder, you know what I mean? You know him getting that money. He was able to like step up sexually you know, and up his sexual game by getting with this, this new fancy wife that he's with, this Telly Swift, you know, which would have made him happy, wasn't it? He wasn't happy with a fat, ugly black mama. Yeah, now he's with this fucking woman here. So he, him saying money doesn't make you happy. He does. Of course it does. Look at who he was with when he was broke. He wasn't happy with her, was he? He wasn't satisfied. He was sick of her. That's why you cheated on her with that Telly Swift who he's with now. So he's not being sincere, is he, Deontay Wilder? Saying money doesn't make him happy and this and that. He would have been happy with his daughter getting some expensive surgery to sort out her fucked up spine. And he would have been happy, you know, to get with this nice woman here, as opposed to that fat, ugly black woman that he was with before. You know, he cheated on with his new wife, Telly Swift. But you know, that Adi Aladipo, he didn't say that to Deontay Wilder, did he? Oh, what about your daughter's expensive surgery? Which is the reason why you got into boxing in the first place. You know, to make money so she could have her medical bills taken care of. You know, and live a better life. Have a, have a better way of life. You know, by getting surgery to sort out her fucked up spine. He didn't say that, did he, Adi Aladipo? You know what I mean? He's not being real, is he? He's not being honest. You know, it's kind of being like a company man, isn't it? Just agreeing with any old shit. 
But that's what these guys have to do, don't they? They have to kind of be like company men and just smile and nod their heads and just agree and, you know what I mean, not speak the truth. And like, you know that Adi Aladipo as well? He interviewed Joshua the other day, yeah. And he kind of admitted what I'm saying as well, because he said to Joshua, I enjoyed your interview with Louis Theroux. And I like listening to people who aren't hardcore boxing fans interviewing boxers because they ask questions that I wouldn't ask myself. Yeah, that's what that Adi Aladipo said. Because that Louis Theroux, he basically asked Joshua who he's fucking. Do you know what I mean? He kind of asked Joshua, like, what women he's banging. You know, now he's got a load of cash. And Joshua, he gave a little politically correct answer, you know, trying to dodge the, the question and try to fucking swerve it. But it was a good question, you know, from Louis Theroux. But you know that Adi Aladipo, he admitted, you know, that he wouldn't ask Joshua those kind of questions. You know, and speak to Joshua about that kind of thing, you know, about who he's fucking. And that's kind of the same here, you know, with Deontay Wilder, he didn't, he didn't say to him, of course money makes you happy. Of course it brings you peace. You would have had peace of mind knowing that your daughter's spine, her fucked up spine, is getting sorted out by some top surgeons, which costs a load of cash. You know, and you're really happy, you know, to be with that nice woman there, as opposed to that fat, ugly woman that you would before that you cheated on with your new wife, Telly Swift. He didn't say that, did he? Adi Aladipo or that Darren Barker. So they are kind of like company men, aren't they? It's like they have to just agree with anything, don't they? You know, Deontay Wilder prefers that woman that he's with now, you know, compared to his ex-wife, you know, that fat woman. And like, you know, Deontay Wilder having money, you know, they say his net worth's $30 million. It's probably more than that now, you know what I mean? But, you know him having that kind of money that would have attracted, you know, women like her, that woman is with now. Because she's like, she's into like the TV, you know, she's been on them reality TV programs. She was on like a WAGS program. So she loves the camera, you know, that woman here. She loves being all in the videos, you know what I mean? So, Deontay Wilder, he would have attracted her, you know, because he's got a, he's got a bit of a big profile, you know, and he's got a load of cash. So women like that love people like Deontay Wilder, you know, with money and, you know, a high profile, you know, a bit of celebrity status. So you can't really blame Deontay Wilder, you know, for divorcing his fat ex-wife, because like you can't stay in that kind of condition, you know, when you're dealing with a man with that kind of money and that kind of high profile and high status. You've got to step your fat game up, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, Terence Crawford, he's stuck with the fat wife, but Terence Crawford's got discipline on it. He's got discipline, and that's why people are having that discussion as to whether he would have beaten Mayweather. You know, both of them in their primes. There was that little discussion, weren't there? You know, after Terence Crawford beat Errol Spence, that conversation was being had on it as to who would win, you know, in their primes out of Mayweather and Terence Crawford. So Terence Crawford, he's got discipline. You know, that's why he can be spoken about, you know, in the same sentence as a prime Mayweather. But Deontay Wilder, he's not that good, is he? You know, he's just got that big right hand, doesn't he? So you can't really compare Terence Crawford and Deontay Wilder, you know what I mean? Terence Crawford's got a next level of discipline, so that's why he's stuck with the fat wife. But, you know, Deontay Wilder, he got rid of his fat ex-wife. You know, for this new little woman that he's got now, that Telly Swift. But he did the right thing, man. Like I say, you know what I mean? Women, man, you, these women need to realise when you're dealing with a guy with that kind of money, $30 million, and that kind of high profile, you've got to step your fat game up, man. Because Deontay Wilder is a target, you know, for women like that, you know, who love the fame and that. So she got with a top high profile guy like Deontay Wilder, you know, because she knows that it would boost her sort of TV career. You know, she loves going on these reality TV programs. You know, it's a bit like the Skype wanker's wife, isn't it? You know, the Skype wanker's mom, she hates the Skype wanker's wife, you know, because she said that she's not a traditional Muslim. You know, she said that she prefers getting Instagram likes more than reading the Quran. So that's why the Skype wanker's mom hates the Skype wanker's wife, you know, that Farrell, and they had a big fallout, didn't they? 
you know, because she's kind of like Deontay Wilder's wife, you know, all in the videos, trying to be on these reality TV programs, trying to get that dopamine, you know, from getting Instagram likes. You know, she's a bit of a groupie as well, you know what I mean? She fucked Joshua, didn't she? And Drake. So that's kind of what she's like, isn't she? She kind of goes for these high profile guys who are celebrities, you know, who have got money. You know, and that's what Deontay Wilder's wife's like as well. So, you know, this fat woman that he was with, his fat ex-wife, you know, it's inevitable, isn't it, that he was going to get rid of her, you know, and cheat on her, you know, a better looking woman. And that's what he did, didn't he, Deontay Wilder? He cheated on his fat ex-wife, you know, and got with this little Telly Swift. You know, it's bound to happen, wasn't it? Because he likes fucking as well, Deontay Wilder. You know, his wife that he's with now. She got interviewed by TMZ and, you know, the reporter, he basically asked her if Deontay Wilder, like, fucks her, you know, before a fight. Okay, so talking about today, it's really, you know, important that fighters, it's a big thing that, or it could be a myth, you can tell me, that they don't have sex leading up to the fight. If somebody's beautiful as you, that'd be hard to, for him to do. Like, uh, how, does, does, how, what do you guys do? Like, does that, does, um, is that for real or? You know what? Deontay does what Deontay wants to do. If he wants to have sex, I'm going to give him sex. <laughs> Okay, but I mean, does he though? Does he do it before? We have fight? done like, it before. We have done right it before. before. Okay. Absolutely. But what's and the longest you've gone before a fight? Have you? Um, have probably you like three days. Wow, and yeah. then, so then right after the fight, it's just like it gets, it goes on. It goes down. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, her saying that, you know, it kind of shows that Deontay Wilder loves pussy, don't he? So, you know, if you've got a man like Deontay Wilder with the kind of money he's got and the kind of profile he's got, you can't be a fat cunt, man. You've got to step your fat game up, man, because there's going to be a lot of competition out there. You know, and Deontay Wilder's a man at the end of the day, you know, who likes pussy. So, you know, Wilder saying money doesn't make you happy and it doesn't bring you peace and all this. It's bullshit, man. It's bullshit. Biggie Smalls tried to say that as well, didn't he? You know, saying the more money you make, the more problems you get. But it's all right, Biggie Smalls saying that, yeah, but then he sang a song, you know, saying, oh, I used to eat sardines for dinner. You know what I mean? Birthdays was the worst days. Now we sip champagne when we thirsty. So he loved having money, Biggie Smalls. You know what I mean? Why didn't he give up all his money then? You know, if like money just brings problems and oh, it's so bad having money. You know, it's bullshit. You know, you see him partying on that yacht, drinking champagne when he's thirsty. You know, and complaining about eating sardines for dinner. And that's bullshit as well, like, look how fat he is. You don't get fat like that from eating sardines for dinner. So a lot of these guys are misleading, man. And when Biggie was broke, he was with a fat, ugly black woman as well. But then when he got the bag, you know, when he started to become a somebody, a celebrity, and his profile and his money increased, you know, he got with that Faith Evans, who I don't really rate her anyway, but she's a lot nicer, you know, than the fat black woman that he was with when he was broke. So, you know, Biggie Smalls loved having money, man. He wasn't being sincere as well. You know, like Wilder, when he said money doesn't make you happy and it doesn't bring you peace, it's bullshit. It's absolute bullshit, man. And like, you know, Frotch, you know how he's got his own channel now, Frotch on Fighting, you know, that he does with his little wife, Rachel Cordingly Frotch. And like, you know, Frotch, he was like, he, he did a video the other day and he was basically like responding you know, to comments on his videos. And somebody commented on a video saying, A lot of people, a few, have said you are punching. I'm punching? Yeah. It's better than not punching, isn't it? So let, hang on a minute, listen, you're punching. You're... Hey, I know what I've got. Yeah, she knows. Yeah, so. I know. So she's punching. Yeah, what do you think of that? Who do you think's punching out of those two? Who do you think's out of whose league? Carl Frotch, yeah, you know what I mean? He really, he's out of her league because there's more of her than there are of him. He's done well in boxing, you know, he's made millions of pounds, he's in the Hall of Fame, he's won loads of world titles, you know, he's got a bit of a high profile, he's got the bag. Carl Frotch, 80,000 at Wembley, we know all that stuff. So he's quite a success in it, Carl Frotch. But you know her, like, she, she looks all right in it, but she, I don't know, there's loads of women who look nice. Like I've said before, I could walk around pretty much any city in England or probably the world, yeah, and find, like, loads of women, you know, who look nicer than her. 
so there's loads of nice looking women out there but there's not like loads of millionaire men you know you can't just walk around for an hour and just bump into loads and loads of millionaire men you know we're in the hall of fame like Carl Froch and have got a really successful boxing career behind them you know what I mean so if anything like he can replace her quicker than she can replace him you know she's in her 30s yeah she's got three kids you know what I mean so really Carl Froch he could get like a 18 year old woman you know who ain't got any kids who looks nicer than her you know that Leonardo DiCaprio you know because he's a big name he's got loads of cash you know he's got a high profile he's got a high status so you know when he's with a woman yeah you know when she turns 25 he gets rid of her you know and replaces her with an 18 year old you know because he's the a-side you know when it comes to all these women you know there's more nice women than there are rich successful men you know like Leonardo DiCaprio and Carl Froch to a degree so Carl Froch is the A-side, man. She's punching above her weight, you know, getting him, and she knows it. And she kind of admitted it, didn't she? Saying, I know what I've got, I know what I've got. I know what I've got. Yeah, she knows. Yeah, see? I know. You know, at least she's being honest. Well, yeah, Carl Froch is fucking the A-side out of those two. She basically won the lottery, you know, getting with Carl Froch, and she knows it, don't she? That's why she was saying, I know what I've got, I know what I've got, you know what I mean? She appreciates Carl Froch. She appreciates the position that she's in, you know, getting somebody like him. Because, like, you know him, yeah. Basically, it's like, you know, if you win the lottery, say if you've got the winning lottery ticket, and you might say, well, she might be a nice woman, she might be a nice woman. Yeah, she's got to be a nice woman when she's with him. Because he can replace her quickly. She's got to be nice, you know what I mean? She's got to appreciate the position that she's in and appreciate the kind of guy that she's got. That's like, basically, uh, imagine if someone wins the lottery and they've got the, the winning lottery ticket and they, they, they walk around the streets, you know, with the winning lottery ticket hanging out their back pocket and they go to the fucking pub and they leave the lottery ticket, you know, on the table while they go to the toilet for a piss. You know, not treating the, the lottery ticket, the winning lottery ticket, the way how it should be treated. You know, they're going to lose the lottery ticket and that's the same with her, isn't it? So she's got to act nice when she's with Carl Froch, because she's very, very fortunate, you know, to be able to lock down a guy like Carl Froch. I know he like taking the piss out of him and this and that and 80,000 at Wembley and he's always hating on Joshua and the Skype wanker and, you know, he's always talking about himself and he, he's quite bitter, you know, towards Joe Calzaghe and stuff like that. You know, because Calzaghe would have beat Froch, you know, prime for prime. So, you know, he has a little go at Calzaghe, don't he, Carl Froch, but really, all that shit aside, you know, he's done quite well in life, hasn't he, Carl Froch? And like I've said before, he used to be with an ugly woman, you know, when he was broke. He was with this ugly woman. I used to see him walking around Nottingham together, and she was a bit ugly. You know, similar to Deontay Wilder's ex-wife, you know, when he was broke. But then they both step up financially. They step up their profile, then they step up sexually. So it's just how it is, isn't it? But yeah, Carl Froch is definitely the A-side, you know, when it comes to those two. And she'd like struggle, you know, to find another multi-millionaire man. Because, you know, men who are multi-millionaires, they're not realistically going to take on a woman, yeah, who's in her 30s, who's got three kids, you know, to another man. It's not realistic. So she can't realistically expect to replace Carl Froch with another multi-millionaire man. And that's why she knows that Carl Froch is the A-side and she's actually punching above her weight, you know, being with him. You know, that's why you have to rate Eddie Earn, you know what I mean? He's always around that Sky Nicholson, isn't he? You know, and it must be tempting, you know, because they like stay in the same hotels as each other. You know, and she fights on a show, on an Eddie Earn show. So it must be really tempting, you know, for Eddie Earn to bang her. Because Eddie Earn, he's got status, and he's got money. You know, like Carl Froch and Deontay Wilder, they've all got cash. And when you've got cash as a man, it kind of opens up a lot of sexual doors, don't it? So you have to kind of rate Eddie Earn, you know, for... I don't know if he's, I don't know if he's faithful to his wife, but I'm sure if he wasn't, it, it would have been revealed, you know, in this day and age of social media, you know, some little fucking clout chasing whore would probably have come out, you know, and said, Eddie Earn done this to me and done that, and we had sex and this and that. And, you know, he, he cheated on his wife, you know, behind her back with me, you know, trying to, 
you know, trying to get a little payday from the Sun newspaper. But there's been none of that, has there? There's been no dirt, you know, dug up on Eddie Earn, you know, in regards to him cheating on his wife. But he might have banged that Sky Nicholson, you know, and told her to sign a, a non-disclosure form, you know, where she's not allowed to reveal what happened. Because Eddie Earn's got money, so he can afford top lawyers, you know, who can put together some nice fancy papers, you know, for her to sign. You know, to say that she's not going to leak any kind of sexual information, any kind of sexual activities, you know, that she gets up to with Eddie Earn. It's hard to say, isn't it? But it must be tempting, you know, for Eddie Earn to bang that Sky Nicholson. She looks all right, don't she? You see that weighing that she had the other day, you know, when her nipples were deliberately on display. You know, she done that deliberately, didn't she? Sky Nicholson. But yeah, she looks all right, man. But yeah, it's fight week anyway, man. So I'm looking forward to this show in Saudi. It's quite interesting, isn't it? But yeah, just a quick video, you know, before fight night. Just a quick video, innit? So, thanks for tuning in again, yeah? Thanks for that.